Hey there guys, my name is Felkor. I'm the uh, director of VCR Dash, this beautiful place here. Uh, one of our greatest mottos here is stay safe, be awesome, and let the good times roll. What's special about the Ardèche? Well, first of all, we're a campsite, so actually our children will share a big permanently fixed tent, uh, usually about six to eight children to a tent. We also have group meal times underneath the terrace where our wonderful chef Doug prepares the most amazing foods. We've got caving, we've got rock climbing. Is there a chance we're going to get wet? Well, of course there is, guys. This is a river-based program, you know, when you've got the mini descent and the grand descent and you're going to be doing lots of rapid swimming and cliff jumping, I would say that there's a fairly high probability that you guys might get a little bit wet. My name is Twig and I'm a caving specialist here along with some other great people. We get to take kids into some caves that are formed along the Ardèche River. Caving is a great experience. They get to get really muddy, which is always a plus, and they really have to confront some of their fears. A lot of them have at least slight fears of the dark of tight and closed spaces and they get to really go into a different environment and help each other out, really take on a task. Uh, the Grand Descent for us is kind of like our, um, I guess the lead up of the week when we have schools that come for uh, six day programs. So they get to learn flat water canoe skills and introductory to moving water. And we paddle 28K, we have about 36 sets of rapids. We uh, get to camp out underneath the stars. We have a beautiful barbecue dinner. It's really just kind of a chance to get away from everything and explore. You know, as you can see behind me right now, this place is absolutely incredibly beautiful. Well, last night I woke up and other girls were also woke, w w well, they woke up as well, uh -huh. and um, we saw a boar. Well, we weren't sure if it was the boar, but I thought it was. I mean, the bear, the boars are like way too scared of you to come near you, like at all, whatsoever. Well, I Carolina didn't one. know that last night, did she? Uh, <laughs> me! This is Mia, he was going... <laughs> Our meal times here, we like to, uh, I guess, kind of emphasize that feeling of community or giant family. Um, we like them to be fun yet relaxed. At the end of meals, you know, counselors will come up, maybe they'll tell a quote or a little story. Um, we welcome the students, the teachers, and staff all uh, if they have a talent, whether it be, uh, you know, playing the drums or guitar, or singing a song. We welcome that at meals just to add a little, a little fun to the day. It's cowboys giving up. Camps, we like to 
uh, keep all our tents up to an immaculate standard and um, cleanliness is the key to success after all so what we do every morning is uh, the tent inspectors who are highly trained and qualified will go around all of the tents in the morning um, and the kids are encouraged to show a spotless tent. Wait, wait, please! You're not ready? No, no ready. Yes, you are. You're ready? Yes, you are. Yeah. yeah? Caroline is here. Hello. Oh. At the end of the week, the tent, who has been the cleanest over the course of the week, gets a prize. Very exciting prize. What's the prize? Uh, last time I worked here, the prize was a signed photograph of the tent inspectors. Um, that was first prize, and then the second prize was a, um, a little wooden canoe. I love the staff that we get down here. It's uh, it's always years after year, season after season. Uh, a truly great group of people. They uh, they come from all over the world with their own experiences, and uh, they're they're really excited to be here. And the the nice thing is. Not only do they work together, but they become more like a family than a, than a group of co-workers. And we really try to build that community feel and spirit in with the children as well. And by the end of the week, everybody from the school has joined that community. You fall in love with it, it's magical. And it's really sad to see them leave. I love the people. The, the team we've got is amazing. And um, I think it's also a great experience. Well, you feel like you want to do it again. Yeah, it's so fun. We have a really great site director here in the Ardash. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Everything is unique about the Ardash. And I mean, we get to live along this river, go in caves, go rock climbing, hop in some canoes. What could you ask for? Always adapting. Constantly evolving. Still number one.